Hello friends, I'm Dr. Renee Harmon. I'm the author of Surfing the Waves of Alzheimer's. It's a memoir about my husband Harvey and his time with younger onset Alzheimer's disease. And I do these weekly blogs and video versions of the blogs, usually around a, a subject related to Alzheimer's disease. And today it's not particularly related to Alzheimer's disease except for a mention of my evolution of my grief. But I'm, I'm hoping it's my audience is broader and um, can ex and um, can be enlightened by some of these uh, things that I bring to you now. Um, but anyway, one morning, first thing in the morning on my front porch, I felt the beautiful cool air and there was a slight breeze and it just tickled the hair on my forearm. And as I breathed deeply, I, I caught the faint, sweet, scent of tea olives that line my yard. And I bent closer to see there were those tiny cream colored blossoms nestled deep in the leaves. I could hear squirrels chasing each other in the trees of my yard. The taste of my morning coffee was still in my mouth, but I wished I could have been able to taste that autumn air. I was aware of the world around me using the gift of my body all five senses exquisitely tuned to my surroundings. It was going to be a good day. I began my morning walk run and I felt my left knee. It's been a little wonky for the last five years, nothing bad, but it's a little bigger than the right knee and I feel it from time to time. But I knew if I kept running, that feeling would go away and it did. And as I was jogging, my eyes were scanning the sidewalk in front of me and my body just automatically could adjust to the roots and holes and cracks that were in the sidewalk. When my uh, heart rate peaked and my breathing became labored, I slowed my pace and just walked. I was aware of the world that was my body. What an amazing physical machine. And I remembered Harvey and his beautiful lean body and his effortless stride when he ran. And this time, those memories triggered smiles and not tears. My heart was remembering and was aware of those memories. And later that day, I got to spend two hours alone with my brand new grandbaby and was overcome with love. What a gift it is to watch a baby grow and learn into themselves. Again, my heart was aware of the singular small world that is mine. That night is always getting ready for bed. The radio is tuned to the news as is my habit, maybe not the best habit to have, but I was made aware of Haitians on our borders and social media negligence and a new COVID death toll. My head and my heart were made aware of the larger world around me. And as I got in bed, I grabbed my favorite pillow and fluffed it up, turned it over and put my cheek on the cool side of that pillow. And I grabbed my second pillow, fluffed it and held it close to my chest and sank my body into its comfortable position. The night air filtered through the window and dampened the shadows in my bedroom and, and uh, insects serenaded me to sleep. I was aware of the small world that was my bedroom using the gift of my body. It was a good day. Thank you. Be well and keep your balance.